One specific question in your exam will be the anterior interosseous nerve. Because there is something called anterior interosseous nerve syndrome. You can get patients with anterior interosseous nerve compression. What's anterior interosseous nerve? Where does it come from? What does it supply? So uh, the anterior interosseous nerve is a continuation of the median nerve. Very good, yeah. Uh, as it extends beyond the cuticle fossa. Uh, again, yeah, mm-hmm. It supplies kind of, um, um, it kind of extends and supplies the, uh, the, the flexes, is it? All the flexes? All, um, I think so, yeah. It's part of the flexes forearm, and then it kind of goes into a recurrent branch, which supplies the... Upper hand, okay. You, you're pretty much there. The anterior interosseous nerve is a branch of the median nerve. That's the first thing you need to remember. Branch of the median nerve. One of the MCQ questions will be, as the median nerve comes into the forearm, it lies between the two heads of the, of the pronator teres. It lies between the two heads of the pronator teres. Then, it gives off, off an anterior interosseous branch, which is also called the deep branch. That goes and supplies the flexor po, uh, pollicis longus to the thumb, flexor digitorum profundus, and pronator quadratus. So the three deep muscles in the forearm are supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve. Okay? Then your median nerve on its own continues in the forearm and then it under, goes under the carpal tunnel. Okay? So that's all you need to know about the anterior interosseous nerve syndrome. So in a patient with anterior interosseous nerve injury, the patient will have lots of normal function because the FCR is intact, so the patient will be able to flex the wrist. They'll have some pronation because the pronator teres is working, but then they will have specific loss of function in the thumb, in the DAPJ, and the final pronator quadratus. So that is your anterior interosseous nerve syndrome. Okay? Right. I'm just going to go back there now. So the reason I, I brought you here is to get you an I, I, I understanding of all the nerves from the lateral cord, all the nerves from the medial cord. The only thing is remaining is a posterior cord. It's very easy to remember the posterior cord. If you recall what we discussed, we had discussed only the anterior side of the arm and the forearm. So everything posterior is from the posterior cord. Okay, Tony, do you want to stand up for me? Thank you, just turn around. So everything posterior, this much. The entire posterior aspect of the arm posterior aspect of the forearm, wrist, <coughs> fingers, thumb, they're all from the posterior cord. So it's very easy to remember. If you just Im imagine all the nerves coming from the posterior cord have to supply something posterior, okay? You can sit down now, thank you. So what are the nerves from the posterior cord? Do you want to take that? Radial? Radial? Axillary, very good. Uh, upper subscapular, okay. Uh -huh. Upper and lower, fine, okay. Upper and lower, that's fine, yeah. Very good, and one more. Nerve to latissimus dorsi, or also called the thoracodorsal nerve. So that's a mnemonic ulnar. Okay. So upper subscapular nerve, lower subscapular nerve, Nerve to latissimus dorsi, also called thoracodorsal nerve, axillary and radial. Okay, so we'll, we'll go by go through e e uh, each nerve. Upper subscapular nerve. What does it supply? Uh, no. Anyone? Upper subscapular nerve. Lower subscapular, what do they sub supply? Um, subscapular muscle. Subscapularis. Okay, so imagine your scapula, the scapula here, then the inside surface is a subscapularis. So the upper and the lower subscapular nerve supplies a subscapularis. Okay? Nerve to latissimus dorsi, also called the thoracodorsal nerve, as the name says supplies a latissimus dorsi, so again a posterior muscle. Axillary nerve supplies a deltoid. 
radial nerve supplies all the muscles in the posterior surface, surface of the arm and the forearm. So radial nerve supplies the entire triceps, all the three heads of the triceps, all the forearm uh, extensors, wrist extensors, finger extensors, they're all by the radial nerve. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.